I just had a picture of confusion all day. The experts were coming at us with all sorts of different theories, and it was really quite difficult to sort of get a handle on what was the most likely. We were getting reports in at one stage that it could have been a virus, then other reports were coming in that it could have been a downed satellite. It was really difficult to build up a picture of exactly what might have been behind it, and then slowly, slowly, bit by bit, the jigsaw puzzle started to be put together. The scientists were giving us this picture, unbelievably, that it could have been zombies on top of it was one of those where the information had just been bombarding us all day, been non-stop, trying to peel away the layers of confusion, get at the heart of this extraordinary story. I mean, I'm not coming across being like this before. It was weird, and, and you get that sensation. We always want to be on the front line. You want to be out in the story. You're trying to get at it, shake the truth out of it. And when it's over, when you can't bear, you just go home and you're washed out, exhausted completely. And it was so weird, you know, the idea that zombies genuinely could have caused all this trouble. Um, I guess I went home and sat in an armchair and had a glass of scotch and just shook my head for the rest of the evening. I think the moment when, when it really hit home, and I, I almost choked on the words, I had to say, removing the head or destroying the brain. The word sank in. It's not something I would expect as a newscaster to ever have to say on air. Removing the head or destroying the brain. Incredible. The strangest and the hardest thing of all during this whole bizarre episode was when suddenly the words came up in front of me. Removing the head or destroying the brain. I said it and I looked at it and I thought, not only am I saying weird words that you wouldn't expect to say, but you're actually telling the public to go out and do this as well. It's not my job. Well, the odd fact at the end of it is that we've now got this word scientifically approved in the English language. The things at the heart of this whole incredible crisis are now to be called zombies. More reports are coming in about the inexplicable behaviour of gangs of crazed individuals committing random acts of atrocity. Although no one official is prepared to comment, religious groups are calling it Judgment Day. There is panic on the street of Britain. New services are inundated as an increasing number of reports of random attacks on people who are literally being alive. Being eaten alive, flooding and born upon the land. If you are harboring the bodies of recently deceased friends or relatives, suggested that you remove them from your house as quickly as possible, wrap them tightly in a sheet of a blanket, and leave them outside your residence well, for the label. You can see behind me, John. It's absolute chaos here. This program is broken. We have to give a chance to give a chance. In the past, the people are dying again. They are killing people again. मैं फिर से आपको बता रहा हूँ मरे हुए लोग वापस अपनी अपनी कब्रों से उठकर जिंदा आदमियों पर हमला कर रहे हैं
committing random acts of atrocity. Although no one official is prepared to comment, religious groups are calling it Judgment Day.